Good morning, guys. Today we're taking you on an adventure. We're going to the southwest part of the island. It's very jungly and really untouched compared to the rest of the island. So we're gonna take you through it and we're gonna show you how beautiful it is and show you all the little spots that we found so far. If you're trying to really have a more authentic experience and see more of the true authentic local life of the island, we really recommend for you to drive through the center of the island as well as where we're going today. Let's go. This is our first stop. It's called So Cafe Chimui, or also Tea Time. It's like a couple different places in one. And we're gonna try it out for the first time, so I'll let you know how it is. We got macaroons, um, an almond cinnamon bun, matcha espresso, and Nico got a salted caramel macchiato. I like that they, first of all, I really love when places offer plant-based milk and they have pistachio milk and almond milk. And funny enough, it's hard to find here. And second, I like that the macaroons are almond-based, so I think that's really different. And the cinnamon bun is almond-based too, so we'll see how it is. We got passion fruit blueberry and coconut mango. Oh, Both are mine. <laughs> I like the mango coconut. I love mango. I like the passion fruit blueberry. <laughs> on the island and um, yeah we're uh, stopping at this you usually go to a location closer to us but because we're going to the overlapping stone today we'll um, we're going to this location over here on the Lamai side laundry here for 14 kgs um, was 50 bucks so a little over a dollar. Yes, and they, they charge, as you can see, by the water size of the machine. Now this is a perfect example of what we like to see. Cows. Cows and just natural life happening. Looks like you park here with your motorbike. And then follow these signs we're gonna try. So we're trying to find the stone. <laughs> we're at this viewpoint right here. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, and we're using Nico's drone to kind of try and find where the hell we're supposed to go. Because <laughs> it's a little confusing. So we found it finally, but it looks like it's kind of turned into a whole tourist Disneyland kind of thing where you have to pay and wait to your turn to get like pictures by the stone. So I don't, I'm pretty sure it was never like this because I was reading blog articles and watching YouTubes of it and no one ever mentioned this. and. It seemed like people were staying like hours by the stone before where now it's like you have to allow the next people to go. So I don't know, it's not so much the thought of like pain that bothers us, but more just like that it's turned into the kind of like this, not such an authentic experience. So 
probably gonna drone it and show you guys it that way and then find other viewpoints that are more just you know authentic and we can just like really take in the view without it being a whole thing you see this beautiful fence right here and you think oh no do not enter but funny enough it's actually where you enter and you go around this side here and the opening is right here so easy trick but this is the entrance here's literally these signs are everywhere not really sure how legit it is um, but yeah we're about to just drone from here yeah so Nico's droning it right now and again it's not so much like we don't care to pay the money but it's more I think compared to living in Portugal and Azores and Madeira where it was just like you know beautiful authentic hiking and viewpoint experiences where I something about Southeast Asia they tend to make it more manufactured and touristy and it takes kind of the beauty out of it so yeah that's just my thoughts on it So we just stopped to do some gas. It's kind of nice that they have these little gas stops um, and you don't have to rely on an actual gas station. So. The hardest thing about this area is that a lot of things aren't open. We don't know if it's because of COVID or because it's a Sunday, but it's looking like it's because of COVID. So a lot of places that say they're open aren't. So we've been trying to find something to eat, but every place we went to was closed. So we ended up here at the Outback. And it's kind of nice because you get to see life, you know, driving by you and beautiful scenery. So see how it is. They have five cats in there. <laughs> five. We're kind of too hungry to remember to film all this. So. <laughs> I just know it's really good. <laughs> we would rate this place a five out of five. Yes, I was gonna say ten out of ten. Same thing. So, yep. <laughs>
literally just walked right in front of the restaurant down the road and ended up here. How's the water, babe? It's so nice to be at a beach where it's like kids and local families swimming and playing compared to the beaches that are just full of tourists. And honestly, I think this beach is way nicer than some of the tourist beaches that we've gone to. And this is the thing about this area, you could really be driving around and you gotta just stop and see what you find. Like this right here. Another perfect example of driving around and just finding whatever comes about. Beautiful places on the island. Thanks for joining our adventure today. We hope you enjoyed going around Koh Samui and exploring with us. We really didn't plan anything today, so you really went on the adventure with us. I have a guide that's in the description and you can check it out and get all the Google map locations of everywhere we've gone in all my Koh Samui videos and Thailand videos. Make sure to check that out below and we'll see you on our next adventure. Yay!